Hey everyone, ever since we started building Chatbot, we have been asked about the platform's capabilities when it comes to chatbots. Chatbots are a pretty interesting topic for us and something which we want to build into Chatbot as we progress along. As a part of that effort, we released our AgentBot APIs in Chatbot 1.40. AgentBots are nothing but web services which would act as a virtual agent in your Chatbot account. They can answer customers or assist agents when a customer conversation comes into the platform. We envision this API is to be supportive for developers who want to enhance the current support portal experience by building on top of Chatbot. So let me take you through a quick video walkthrough of how an agent bot can be implemented using the new Chatbot APIs. The code for this exercise is available under Chatbot in GitHub. We will also be adding a link to the same in the video description. So let's get started. We are going to use another exciting service called Rasa to build our bot service. Rasa is an open source NLP platform which makes building conversational AI much easier. So for the first step of the exercise, you have to install Rasa on your local machine by following their extensive documentation. Once you have finished installation of Rasa on your local machine, you can go ahead and run this command to create a Rasa project in your machine. I have already went ahead and done that steps and I have a Rasa project created already in my local. If you open the project, the files which you need to care about are what comes under the data directory, the nlu.mt and the stories.mt. Another file to watch out would be the domain.yml. These three files control how the bot reacts to the incoming messages and what sort of response the bot gives to these messages. I'm not going to go into too much detail about the contents of this files. You can follow Rasa documentation and have a much more understanding about it. For the purpose of this exercise, we are just going to go with the default files and not going to make any changes to the bot responses. But you will also have to have a look at the credentials.yml file and ensure that this particular block is present in your credentials.yml file. The rest section here ensures that the API to communicate with Rasa would remain open, which we would need to use for our agent bot APIs in Jackboot. So once you have finished all these steps, you can go ahead and copy this command and start your Rasa project running. After starting the Rasa server in your machine, let's go ahead and run the chatbot installation in your machine as well. We will also start a Rails console which would be required in the upcoming steps. So if you follow along the tutorial, you can see that the next step is to create an agent bot. So for that, I'm just going to copy paste the command into my Rails console. You can see that a new bot has been created. So let's see the next step. Bot.accesstoken.token dot token will give you a token which you would need in the future steps to configure your agent bot APIs. So I'm just going to copy paste the token and keep it somewhere safe. So the next step is to connect your agent bot to one of your local inboxes in your chatbot installation. So once I have done that, you can see that an agent bot inbox connection is made. Let's follow along the other steps involved. The other step is to clone this repo into your local machine and you have to run the Rasa router script. So I have already cloned the script into my machine. You can also see that you have to like replace few values on the index.php file. So this file is meant for the purpose of a demonstration of this integration and is not meant for production use. But you can refer to this file to have an understanding about the function and implement the service in any of your favorite language. Let's replace the agent bot token with the token which we obtained in the previous step. So once you have done that, you can go to this Rasa router folder and you can start a local PHP server which would act as a bridge between our Rasa installation and also between our chatbot installation. 
The Pidget Test Endpoint is an endpoint that's available in your local chatbot installation, which helps you debug the chat widget. So let's see our agent bot in action by testing out this widget. Just sending a message hello to the bot, you can see that Rasa has responded with a message back. If I send something, the bot responds again with a great carrier. So this is the chatbot agent bot APIs in action. I hope this exercise was helpful and you guys would be able to build on top of the ideas. You can refer to the chatbot API documentation to have creative ideas of how you can extend the functionalities of your chatbot agent bot. Do let us know your queries and suggestions and thanks a lot for watching.